What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So recently, Tarkov have been doing a ton of drops. And if you'd like to know how to automate actually getting the drops, idling them on Twitch, do check the description down below. It works for more than just Tarkov drops. It works for any drops for any stream or game category. Anyways, opening up the Tarkov drops page over here, you can see it's currently day seven. There's a couple more days to go, but you can see I've got a ton of drops over here. Many common drops, including rare and legendary drops here from over the days. You get one for two hours, then four, four, then you get two rare ones, another four, another four, and finally a legendary one for a final four, totaling to 22 hours in the day. If you're going to do this, you need to automate it somehow or get onto a 24 hour stream pretty early. So with all that out of the way, what do you actually get from these drops? Well, if you head into the actual game itself, into your messenger and then Prapor over here, you can see that you've got a ton of packages waiting for pickup. You do need to pick them up within about seven days of receiving them first. So do make sure to clock in just in time. Here's the first days over here and I'll just go through and claim them and show you all what I get. Let's do some quick inventory organization. So all I'm going to do is open up the drops over here and I'll collect them into groups. So having a look at my inventory over here, scrolling down to the very bottom, I have all of the common drops that are received from the drop season up to day seven, not including today's legendary item. Scrolling up, I have the rare items. And finally up here, I have the legendary items, including a thermal scope, some good ammo and a bunch of GP. While it's not crazy good, it is pretty good to say the least. Of course, these things could be worth quite a bit on the market, but unfortunately, none of these are found in raid, including these items over here needed for your kappa, unfortunately. So while it won't really help you get towards your kappa progress, you will still get some pretty good items that you can use elsewhere. These ones I'm pretty sure came from the middle drop over here, the rare day, rather than legendary up here. So far, I've only received four legendary drops. I'm not too sure what the other drop was here. Anyways, all of these single items here came on different days. And of course, the groups of the same items came on the same day. There wasn't a single day where I got two different items. They just came in groups of three, two, four, etc., etc., depending on what the item is. One legendary day had these up here, these and this separately. So one, two, three days. Is it worthwhile collecting these? Well, yes, obviously, especially if you're playing the game, some of these items can be really useful. Other than that, if you're not playing the game, should you bother idling these? Maybe not. They're not found in raids, so you can't sell them on the market, but they could still be useful for you if you're looking to play the game at some time later. Like me, I'm idling the game now, I'm not really playing it, but in the future, I probably will be playing it long before the next wipe comes along. So having some extra items to help me along the way will be especially useful, especially if you can find, say, a GPU in a legendary drop, etc, etc. But that's really about it for the super quick video. Is it worthwhile? Yes, if you're playing the game and yes, if you're going to play sometime later, why not idle the drops? Thank you all for watching. My name has been Techno over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.